<laughs> I just want to keep it going. I, I don't, I, I want to bring up, I want to bring her up. I want to bring up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I want to bring up Miss Clank. Miss Clank! <laughs> Blackout. It's totally fine. <laughs> Hi guys, Miss wow. Clank. <laughs> teaching you kindergarten today. <laughs> uh, this is fun. Look at this fun group of people. You guys are we all having a good time. Great, great. Um, uh, guys, I got married this year. Uh, thank you so much. You, I mean, you know anyone can do it. But thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we got married. It feels like we've been married for a really long time, though. To me, I feel like our true anniversary is the day we decided to sync our Google calendars together. Has anyone done that? That's oh, a great way to end the fun immediately. You're thinking about a way to just know where your partner is at all times. Uh, and then recently, he puts into our mutual calendar on like a Wednesday night at 11.30 p.m., he puts in sex. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Um, but he put it into the calendar for an hour. I was like, you need to learn how to use the software. <laughs> I don't have time for wishful scheduling. <laughs> so I just zipped that bad boy up to 11.37. <laughs> and I said, that's a hard out. Where we are at 11.37, that's when I gotta bounce. I promised myself this was the year I was gonna watch The Wire, and I honor my commitments. But I like make this joke where I'm like, seven minutes, ha ha ha, humiliation. But like, that's, seven minutes is like fine with me. Like, I, I looked it up, it's within the national average. I'll take it. Seven good minutes as opposed to like, what is it, the eight or nine hours that Hollywood tells you you're supposed to spend having sex, right? Like, Hollywood makes you feel like if there's not a time lapse in your sex, like you're doing it the wrong way. Another thing they do that drives you crazy in like movies and television is like, people will be having sex, like, you know, sheets covering everything that's not supposed to show. Relatable, right guys? And then whoever rolls off of whoever, and they just like snuggle up, and they just chat for a few seconds, and then they just go to sleep. So like, no cleanup? We're not doing any cleanup, is that what's happening? All right, Ugh, okay. Because what are the options there? That he wore a condom and he's just wearing that bad boy till morning, right? Tomorrow's trash day, I'll take care of it later. Or maybe, I mean, maybe they're like relying on her birth control. That's only 99% effective, ladies. You gotta get to the bathroom and handle the 1%. That's all I'm saying. You're really rolling the dice on a child or a UTI. So just, all I want to see is like one realistic post-sex cleanup scene in a movie. I just, I just want to see Olivia Wilde like teetering to the bathroom. Being like, I'm going for, you have to go, let me go first. Just, come, just clean up that spot, I'll be right back. You know what I mean? Is that too much? I just thought that would be super hot in the movie. That would be good. But the, you know, the moral of that is uh, that everyone should be using some form of birth control. And have you guys heard that male birth control is coming out next year? It's coming. It's coming. And I, I get a lot of woos when I talk about this. A lot of ladies are like, it's their turn! And I totally get that. But like, um, well like what's the plan with male birth control, you guys? What's the plan? <laughs> Is it that a guy's gonna take a pill every single day, three to sixty-five days out of the year at the same time? Every day? Is that the plan? Is that the plan, you guys? I don't know if that could be the plan. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Like the other day I was lying in bed with my husband and I go, oh hey, honey, did you ever realize that part of that Batman t-shirt glows in the dark a little bit? And he goes, oh fuck yeah! <laughs> the baton anytime I think I'm in the stage charge of whether or not we become parents. Uh, I don't want to brag, but I'm like really good at not getting pregnant, you guys. Never done it. I'm undefeated. Yes! If 
I thought he was a construction site to be one of those signs up that was like, 12,000 days without an accident. <laughs> solid contractor got in there and just kept everything real safe. Uh, <laughs> but I am excited that I am married now because I gotta tell you, I'm just excited that I think I don't have to date anymore. I just, uh, dating is the worst. It always has been. It's still gonna be terrible when I get divorced, but like right now, <laughs> I'm just in a real sweet spot at the moment. And I'll tell you why I know that, that uh, dating's been the worst forever. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ted Bundy. Uh, he was just a serial killer who just killed like just a bushel of women back in the 70s and he had a girlfriend the entire time and his girlfriend he never laid a hand on her but he she called the police two times to say hey I think my boyfriend might be that serial killer you guys are looking for and the police did nothing and they stayed together because you know what she was like, oh, I just can't get back out there. <laughs> Not another ad in the paper. <laughs> you know, and her friends were like, Liz, didn't you say you found a bunch of, like, you know, blunt objects in his car? It's like, shut up, Maureen, your husband's no prize either. <laughs> you know, I bet she was probably like, we'll see if he gets the death penalty and then we'll circle back, you know? We'll just see what happens. <laughs> Um, I, this, I just, I'm like new to LA and I'm dealing with the driving thing, which is cool, I like to drive, but, uh, I'm getting over sort of like a, a, a traumatic thing that's happened to me a bunch of times driving, which is that I'll be in the middle of the country, I don't know if this has ever happened to any of you guys, and I'll be, uh, seeking on the radio, looking for a song to, to, just to jam out to, you know, and I, I like Top 40, I'm just gonna come out and tell you guys that, so that's a confession. Uh, so I'm just looking for whatever is hot with the kids, and I'll hear some song that's like, I'm in love with a boy, and I'm like, oh, what's this? What do we got? Taylor, Ariana, tell me, what is this? And then the next line will always be like, and he has risen. <laughs> Jesus Radio! Tricky little bitch! I swear, I feel like I've discovered a new star or something. I'm like shazamming, I'm popping and locking, and then I'm like, did they just say thorny crown? Oh no, I'm not again. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm really good at making it seem like real music. <laughs> I, uh, like I said, I just moved here, so I'm trying to, you know, do some LA-ish type stuff. I went to yoga, but my yoga instructor had fake tits, which I was like, your branding is confusing. It's like, no gluten, but like bags of saline inside her. Okay, all right. Like, I just could tell because she went to do like a handstand and her, her tits were like, namaste up here. Like, they, they, Get those rock hard tits, ladies. Gotta get them. I, uh, a little, I, I moved here from New York City. A lot of people, everyone loves a New York LA comparison. I'm just gonna jump in, right? Let's do it. Uh, I'll, one thing I just find interesting is that I lived in New York for 11 years in the same apartment the entire time. I never one time met my landlord. Never spoke to him, never talked to him, never looked him in his eyes. Um, I have been living in LA for three months and my building manager wants to be a part of my life. Does anyone else just have a building manager who's like standing against your door with a cup at all times? She's like involved in everyone's business. She's very nosy. She, when I went just to look at the place, she was like, talking shit about everyone in the building. <laughs> she was like, that girl over there drinks like a fish and has fucked every black guy in West Hollywood. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, she sounds fun. Give me your number. Stop being racist. <laughs> like, every black guy in West Hollywood straight? That's like two. It's like, not that slutty. <laughs> Slut it up if you really want me to pay attention. Uh, yeah, so she's crazy. Um, I, uh, the, the New York to LA move has made me uh, no less broke. I'm still pretty broke. I'm still paying off my college loans, guys, right? What a bar tab. Anyone else? Uh, it's aggressive. But I went on this website recently to consolidate my student loans. Did the whole thing. Username, password. Then they gave me a security question in case I forget my password. Good call. I do like to drink. <laughs> but the security path question was, in what city is your vacation home located? 
Oh, that's fine. I didn't know you could throw salt in someone's eye over the internet. You guys know that you can do that? I was like, what other questions were you guys bouncing around the room that didn't make it onto the website? Like, what is the name of your childhood pony? How many eagles are on your family's crest? How many domestics have you fired for insolence? I thought we were okay with mom's maiden name, but I guess we had to make it about class. Um, I'll leave you with this story, you guys. I, like I said, I'm married, so I don't have any good sex stories anymore, but I have a lot of dumb friends, so don't worry. Uh, and I was talking to one of my dum-dums recently, she was telling me how she was hooking up with this guy, things are getting hot and heavy, shirts are coming off, I was like, tell me more, I was really into it. And uh, she goes, well then he takes out a condom. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So he's like seen a TLC music video. <laughs> and she was like, no, that's, I, I was offended. It's so presumptuous for him to think that we were gonna go all the way. I was like, okay, Sandra D, TikTok. Like what, <laughs> what happened? I gotta go. Uh, she goes, well, don't worry, I got him back. I go, oh God, what does that mean? She goes, I gave him an angry hand job. <laughs> what? What are we talking about? You have sawdust in your hands? You wear a lot of rings? What kind of, what? Let me ask you a question. Did you finish the hand job? She goes, yeah. I go, I hate to tell you something. He still wins. <laughs> guys being like, oh, my girlfriend just gives the most whimsical hand job. You know? uh, she just winks the whole time and quotes A.A. A. Milne like it's a toy. Like, a hand job is a hand job is a hand job, you know what I mean? I didn't even write that. That's Shakespeare. I was like, who also, who taught you how to punish guys? You're doing it the wrong way. You're one of those girls that's like, oh, you cheated? Just anal tonight, mister. Like, it's wrong. You're just, you have it backwards. Uh, you guys, I'm Kara Clank. Thank you so much.